Hey, what's up there? This is Freddy Ganderilla here, the one behind this cool I am blog 101. Internet dash marketing dash blog 101.com. I just wanted to record this video to tell you how long my domain name is and how annoying it has been to me. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. But um, no, it, it really, it has been bothering me for the past few months. And actually, after I bought this domain name a month later, I regretted it because, you know, I bought it a while ago. And when I bought it, it was at the time where people was buying, uh, you know, where, where exact match keyword domain names were very popular and and people were doing it a lot so in that you know at that time i was also learning a lot of uh, you know new seo strategies and 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 how to you know rank blogs and websites in the search engine so i was learning about exact match keyword domain names and you know I went ahead as soon as I learned a lot of stuff on, on that I went ahead and, and rushed to GoDaddy and bought the domain name with dashes and it, you know I, I at that time I was just like okay I'm just gonna try to do this try to rank for internet marketing blog which by the way is a very very competitive keyword and I don't know what was I thinking but you know you learn as you do you know that, that that's how I have learned you know internet marketing and blogging and seo i have learned by doing by applying what i learn you know i you know i can't just sit and, and read and, and watch videos and not do what i learned so i went ahead and bought the domain name and you know and i blogged on the domain name for like a month and then you know i was learning more on seo because you are constantly learning you are never ever you know uh lacking new information on the internet there are oh my god there's so much new knowledge every week uh you know that i learn uh and you never ever really stop learning but anyways so as i was learning uh you know more on seo a month later i was starting to regret buying that domain name with hyphens with the dashes because i was learning more on seo and you know they say that the recommended number of characters for a domain name you know it's 15 characters and my domain name here is so long but you know that was back then you know like uh, two years ago i think i, I don't re really remember but i think it was no actually a year and a half i don't really remember but yeah back then you know uh, you know seo has changed a lot over the past year alone you know you know that with all of the algorithm changes and stuff like that actually they they uh, did the update about exact match keyword domain names and they are no longer really a good strategy to to go for you know exact match i mean it might work if you do it the right way like the very very right way but it doesn't really work uh, is it's not as, as powerful as before you know if you want to buy a, an exact match keyword domain name uh, Google they already know what's up they already know what you're trying to do so uh, don't try to do that you know any any domain name can be successful today you don't have to have a domain name with a keyword in it but you know that was one of the reasons why I bought the domain name and, and I was dumb enough to put uh, hyphens and dashes in there without actually in doing more research and, and learning if you know uh what is more beneficial for me you know uh, if i want to build a successful blog online is it more beneficial to have a, a domain name with hyphens um you know dashes or not and what i have learned this past week actually let me tell you really quickly this past week alone i think i have learned more than than i have learned in the past six months right i have learned so much because i took the time this past week to learn more on seo to learn more on blo um, blogging i met a lot of successful bloggers uh, and by the way if you want to learn the good stuff you need to hang out with the successful people right if you want to become a successful blogger then you need to hang out and you need to connect with the successful successful bloggers and, and you need to learn from them but anyway so this past week i have learned so much on seo blogging and domain names you know domain names blogging seo blog design because everything goes together like jelly and peanut butter you know what i mean so uh, i mean especially blogging and seo they go together like crazy because they both 
uh, benefit from each other and blogging and seo is something that can bring you a lot of money to your bank account all right so but anyway so this past week i have learned a lot more on seo and, and domain names right and i also by the way i have learned a lot of on psychology and the mind and you know the psychology of the human being and how to apply that to your marketing how to apply that to your blogging uh some powerful stuff i'm going to be sharing so you want to make sure you are subscribed to the channel you are subscribed to the blog and you are following me because i'm going to be sharing a lot of good information on psychology the mindset the mind the brain your blog seo internet marketing your blog's design conversions email list building and all of that good stuff that you want to know I'm going to be sharing that with you and I already have a lot of good stuff on the blog so make sure you go and check it out make sure you subscribe to the channel and to the blog but anyway so I have learned so much so so much this uh, past week and one of the things that I learned is that um, it is recommended to you know if you can to not have any hyphens or dashes on your domain name right uh, not that Google or the search engines don't really like that because uh, they actually don't care about the domain name. They care about the content and, you know, how relevant your domain name is to the content, right? Uh, that's the only thing I think they care about, you know, how relevant is your domain name to your content. But dashes and hyphens, um, I have seen people do a split test and... and and come up with the results that hyphens, uh, domain names with hyphen and dashes uh, don't do really well in search engines. Uh, it, there's just like a tiny, tiny disadvantage, tiny, right? But the, I, I don't really believe that. But you know, one of the main reasons why I'm switching domains is because I never like the hyphens and dashes and and i went ahead and worked on the blog anyways right now this blog is getting about 100 hits a day right um i left it for a long time because you know i blogged for it i blogged on it for a month after i bought it but then i got discouraged because i learned more about uh you know seo and and you know i saw that the domain name was too long so i left it and and i got busy with other stuff i was building other blogs um, I was building a team somewhere I was I, I was busy so I never really worked on the blog so three months ago I was like screw it I'm going to work on it I'm just going to do it and see what happens and you know I I always like the domain name you know because I I like to teach internet marketing and I like to teach blogging uh, so I like the domain name I just didn't like the, uh, the dashes so what I did was I bought another domain name with out the dashes so the new domain name for this blog the blog you are on right now um is internet marketing blog 101.com without any dashes as you can see right now the domain name on this blog the one you are on is internet dash marketing dash blog 101.com so i wanted to change that to internet marketing blog 101.com so i did i already transferred um you know all of the content to this new one and i'm going to leave everything on this blog as it is all i'm going to do is put a message and tell people to go to the new blog and tell them that i have moved uh you know to a new domain but i'm not going to delete anything here because like i said i was working on this blog uh, i just didn't want to continue working on it uh without making the switch you know it, it was now or never right because this blog right now uh, let me show you the rankings for for this blog it has a page rank of two and by the way when i bought the domain name it was brand new uh brand brand new no one had the domain name right so the rankings right now if you know about alexa rankings you know that this is an okay ranking right but it's not a ranking for a newbie newbie you know blogging because newbies will have probably a rank like this like the other domain name that i'm going to be working on and this is one of the reasons why i'm recording this video is to show you the rankings of these both domain names and i'm going to show you the date is may 2014 
Sunday the 4th so that's the date right there these are the rankings from these both sides and you can see the big difference you can see this this blog the one you're on right now it has good Alexa rankings I mean it, it, it is on the way to success right it is building up it is it is getting good rankings rankings and stuff like that um and you know some people might say man freddy you're crazy how are you gonna stop why can't you just redirect people you know from this domain name, redirect that domain name to the old one i mean i could do that too but i just want to start fresh man i just want to um you know make this a legit blog because you know i want to be recording more videos i want to be recording more audios and stuff like that and i can't be saying internet dash marketing blog you know i can't be saying every time by the way go to internet dash marketing dash blog 101.com i mean i could but i mean I, I i wasn't comfortable with it so that's why i changed and now i could be like all right by the way go to internet marketing blog 101.com you know you, you see how easy how easier it is for me to say that and how easier it is for you to listen to that and to remember that internet marketing blog 101.com so that is actually one of the main reasons that made made me uh, make the decision to move the site uh, overnight and that that's what I did overnight I moved everything I got everything ready as you can see it's very similar to the other site but with ma uh, a lot of tweaks to it to convert and I, like like i said i learned so much this past week i'm applying it to my new blog right here and i'm going to be teaching it to you soon through videos and blog posts so you want to make sure that you are subscribed and you subscribe to the channel and you are following us so this is you know like i told you this is the new domain because i want it I wanted it to be easier for me, for me to say and also I wanted to, I want to build my brand so I didn't want to build my brand with a domain name I wasn't comfortable with you know what I mean so this is why I was like man I gotta make the change now or never so these are the rankings and I showed you the rankings from one blog and then the other one and you can see the big difference this other one is like brand new you can see there's no ranking at all right so i'm going to show you exactly how to get that ranking this to this in like three months all right so i'm going to show you how to do that so you want to make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you are you subscribe to the newsletters to get updates because I'm going to be sharing everything. I'm going to be recording and tracking everything that I do to show you so you can do it with me. You know, if you want to lower your Alexa rankings and, you know, you need help, then this is your best chance to do it with me because I'm going to be sharing it right uh, it, it is going to be a process and it, it is going to be work so be ready to write a lot be ready to do work daily because i'm going to be doing work daily all right if you don't do things daily then maybe uh this is not going to work for you and, and and if you don't do things daily and you see me do things daily and you get a different result than me then you can't complain right because you didn't do what i did right doing it daily is part of the process you get it so you can see the rankings right here and the ranking right here so and as, as you know about alexa alexa rankings and if you don't know uh just follow me you're going to learn about it but if you already know uh, about alexa rankings and you know what i'm talking about here the lower this number is that means the more traffic your blog is getting on a daily basis all right the the rank over here is based on daily traffic not weekly not monthly daily so the more traffic you have coming into your blog daily the lower this number is going to be all right so i'm going to get this new blog to you know this brand new blog to these rankings right here because i mean they are the same blog pretty much right so i have i have to uh catch up to where i was today if it makes sense 
but anyway so that's all i wanted to show you that's all i wanted to tell you about that i have switched this blog the blog you are on right now to a new domain name so make sure that you go to the other domain name and you bookmark it and you are following me you subscribe to the channel subscribe to the blog uh let's learn how to blog and 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 make money from blogging and build a successful blog online let's do it because you can do it because he did it because she did it because everybody have done it not everybody but you know what i mean a lot of people have done it a lot of people have build successful blogs online and that means only one thing to you it means that you can do it too if another human being did it that means you can do it too no matter what no matter what your situation is there are there you are all you are always going to find another person who was in a worse situation than you and did it so no excuses take massive action subscribe to the channel subscribe to the blog follow me and that's it all right so this is freddy gandarilla from i am blog 101 internet marketing blog 101.com oh, that was so much easier to say man <laughs> anyways i'll talk to you later peace